Hey, welcome back, everybody. We got something interesting here today. We're going to do something different. So, live here in Costa Rica, as everybody knows, and I found somebody here in Costa Rica, and you could take a look here. He used to live in the United States and collect cards. And we're going to go take a look and see what he's got today. So, he sent me some of these pictures. Of course, they're a little blurry, and we can't see too close up what he's got, but he does have some key cards there. We're going to go take a look and see what he's got today. So. Let's see. I'll be right back. I'm going to drive over there, and when we get over there, I'll take another video and get a close-up and see exactly what he's got. And uh, be right back with you all. All right, so here we go, guys. You know, we're driving down the road here. This is Cartago, Costa Rica, where I live. We're going to go over to San Jose, Costa Rica, which is about a half an hour ride. I'm going to scan over and let you guys see a little bit of the scenery here. Which you can see here on Costa Rica. Beautiful place. Right here. In the background there where you see those clouds is actually a volcano. Got a McDonald's here. And on a clear day you can actually see that volcano. It is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Sorry about the video quality there, guys. And as we're riding out here, we'll see you back in a little bit. And we're going to take another video when we get over to a uh, kind of nickname from my friend here. We call him uh, Baseball Eddie. More pictures here for you guys. Just a real pretty country. And uh, the sun's starting to break out here a little bit. See if that volcano peaks out. It's hiding back there for us. And... Uh, Anyways, we hope that we uh, find some good finds today. Let's see what Baseball Eddie has to show us. Looks like the volcano is going to still be hiding for us. Anyways, let's see if we can get... Oh, there they are today. If everybody just caught... I think we just caught them. Well, the bulls that usually pass by every morning that go into the field. And uh, we'll be right back. So we're almost there, guys. I just wanted to get In three kilometers, shot. take the exit toward Avenida 52. Spanish there, Google in the back. And you can see some mountains in the background, so we're almost there. And right, we'll get a video when we're pulling up. And baseball card, I highlight them all and stamps and coins. Yeah? This is the more thing. Hey everybody, this is Eddie. Yeah. yeah and I, uh, I just I just made it here. It's a fabulous thing that we got today yeah, here. Know, um, we're in Costa Rica and I got my friend Eddie that I just met. Um, out of a coincidence, there's a uh, online company here where you can trade and sell things, and he left a message that he had cards for sale, and uh, I discovered him. So we're going to take a look here and see everything that he's got, and uh, see if I pick anything up and take it home today. But uh, he sent me some interesting pictures here, and uh, we're going to go from there. I may take another caption here in a little bit, and let's see what he's got there. Look how cute that thing is. Look at that. That's great. Guys, so we're looking. He's got some, some catalogs here. We're looking at some of the cards here. And uh, let's see what we can see here. Let everybody see. I got some rookies down here. And uh, so my friend Andre, so he's been collecting here for a long time. And he has his collection here in Costa Rica. Yeah, just to give you a little idea, there's the Indians logo there. Look at that, Chief Wahoo. I love that. That's really nice. Yeah. Give you guys an idea here, see if we can get in here and see some of the cards in here. See the name, uh huh, the cards. The Ryan Sandberg section here, there's a whole Ryan Roger Clemens section here. So, there's some Eddie Murray cards over here. That's some really nice stuff here. We're gonna go through these cards here and see what else we can find. Some Jorge Pasado. Well, okay, everyone, so this is what we picked up here at Eddie's, and uh, we're going to take them home, and we'll get a closer look at them, and we'll go over them one by one together. And I'll be right back with you guys. Let's see what we got here. Well, guys, well, I'm back here. Welcome back, everybody. And so, we'll go over some of these cards here. I didn't, um, didn't pick up many cards, but Eddie had a lot of cards that he's still going to go through for us, and uh, I'll probably make a trip back to here pretty soon, and we'll make another video one day, but... He had some interesting cards, and this is what I ended up picking up. And I got a uh, 
John Mattingly tops here, rookie card. And he was pretty clever. What he used to do is uh, put the prices on it. So when he bought the card, he bought it for $30.15. And in 2011, you can see he put the price on there for it was $15 in 2011. I think it's about a between a $5 and a $10 card right now today, depending on the kit condition of it. So you can see the next card here. And there's something you can see um, peculiar here with this card. Let me see if I can find one of the uh, clearer uh, newer um, cases here. The um, discoloring of the case that we can see on the Ken Griffey Jr. card. I thought that was a little weird. And uh, something else here on the back of this one. You can see the card was selling for about $8 back when he bought it. And surprisingly today it's about what you can pay for that raw card and about that condition that it is right now. Um... This one, however, does have a little bit of some white corners there, but it is a pretty clean card. Let me see if I can get it out of the sleeve here for us. Give me a second. And let's see, it wasn't in plastic. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus for us. There we go. A little bit of white showing in some of the areas. Otherwise. white corner down there probably yeah not even it's nice got some of these cards for my personal collection though I'll put that over there we'll get that sleeved up and then these are some really nice uh kirby pocket cards and you can see we have another one of those on the yellow casing <laughs> and uh one in the clear casing one of the old school um you guys remember those oh here. All right, guys, sorry about that interruption. Coming back here, I got a call from my friend in Colorado. So, as a here, I want to show you the old, uh, I guess you call these the old old school one touches. So, uh, this is kind of neat. I, I used to remember these, or they just, uh, let's see, they, they pull here and they snap, kind of like snap open, and the card comes out. Wow, that's kind of dangerous, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you can see up here, I think I already looked in here on this one. Let's see if I could get that to pull in on us there. It's a little dent on the corner. Well, I to tell you, I can't get that to focus. Anyways, I've got some pretty nice looking cards here, though. Um, two Kirby Puckets. And most of these cards, I mean, I'm a big Indians fan, so I got a, a Manny Ramirez there. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Phil Schmidt. Love that car. Love watching that guy play when I was young. The tops with the smile at the bottom. Eight dollars back then. And I got a Pete Rose card here. Not good with the years on that cards, guys. Looks like that one uh, in 2007 was five dollars and fifty cents. And here. That was a neat card there I found that he had. And uh, the only problem with the um, Mark McGuire card, and we showed Eddie when Eddie was there, is, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a stain on the back. And we do have the price on that one, $17.50. He paid for it. And he has the price on it in 2006. It was $30. It's about right. And in 2011, $20. And it's a little banged up in the corners. And the color's a little bit off. Yeah, about a $10, $15 card probably. Very nice card though. For anybody's collection. Don't know if I'm going to keep that in my personal collection. Or me and Eddie had an idea to maybe uh, go through all his cards and sell them on eBay together. And there's the uh, Ernie Witt and uh, Dale Murphy Braves card. Rookie catcher's card. It's a nice card. We've got Lance Parrish there too. That one shows very nice color. Um, it is in one of those cases that does have some fading on the yellow there. And let's see the back of that one. Four dollars in two thousand and eleven, and thirty-five dollars back then. Look at that when he bought it. Another Manny Ramirez. A little off-centering. And uh, I got these two cards. These are nice. 
and uh, I got a guy that got me back into collecting. His name is uh, Eric Jabs on Jabs Video. Never really reached out to him personally, but uh, I took a look at those two cars. I thought of Eric. I used to live in uh, Pittsburgh, actually, in 88 and 89. And uh, I used to remember Barry Bonds back then. And uh, that one was $12. And this one was $8 over here back in the day. That's about right. And uh, maybe I'll donate to him those cards one day and send them to him. It cost a lot to send them from Costa Rica to him, but hey, he got me back into collecting. And we got here the Nolan Ryan cards here, which these are from the 1990 Upper Deck. I know that. I have some of these myself. We have the 2000 Win, and it is with the sticker, with the 2000 Win banner, and without the banner. And then we also have the Pull Holes card. Funny story about this one. I think Eddie thought that this was the Pull Holes rookie card. It's the 2005 card. He had the price on it at $80 at one point and a hundred and twenty dollars back in 2011 we were both trying to figure out what card that was but uh when i finally got it home and i took a look at it here recently i realized that it's this 2005 card i just picked it up for my collection and i got these two from eddie matt likes frank thomas and uh, matt's in the background give a big shout out to everybody matt shout out to everybody say hi yeah, yeah. let's see we got uh frank thomas is uh Tops Chrome and Tops Finest insert cards here. Pretty cards. And uh, that wraps it up, guys. Uh, I want to thank you, and uh, we'll be bringing another uh, video back soon and uh, show that uh, difference between the clear, that yellow. I'll tell you, that is something else, seeing that color. And we'll be back soon. Everybody stay safe, and uh, thanks for joining us again. Take care. Yeah, I wanted to come back and uh, mention to everybody there uh, what you thought about the video and... What I did is I gave, um, Eddie wanted um, the amount of money that he wanted for these. I offered him $50 for all of the cards. And I ended up paying $60 for that stack of cards. And I want everybody to leave a, a mention there on the video and let me know what you think. If I paid too much for those cards down here in Costa Rica or if I paid around what you think it would cards that i would go into my personal collection but if anybody's interested in these uh you can send me a what do you say a message there in the chat and uh you can link these on ebay and we can sell these on ebay to you and i can send them here from costa rica to you and i'll include a free bag of coffee uh for sending them and uh, i paid 60 dollars for those you guys let me know in the link in the messages before in the comments below if i paid too much or if you think i paid the right amount Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.